Namaste. Good morning. Namaste, Shamla Didi. Namaste, all. Welcome to the morning session. Uh, we will move on to uh, Shariga Didi for her sharing, and we can take questions after her sharing. So briefly, I will put together the introduction part, and then you can place your sharing within 20 minutes' time based on these indicators, Didi. So uh, Didi is uh, Shariga Anilji. Um, she is working as uh, working as as a human resource uh, manager in the in a recruitment firm. She did his uh, USB introductory workshop in September 2022, and later she did his USB two also. Then she after that she started writing in the morning sessions. Um, she is not into uh, serious volunteering activities, but I'm sure she will be into that sooner than later. So, Didi, with this brief introduction, let me uh, welcome you to share uh, in the morning session of Batch 7. Over to you, Didi. Thank you. Thank you, Sunil Bhaiya. Namaste to all. Uh, like I, as Sunil Bhaiya has introduced, I am not uh, associated with uh, any institute. And I was introduced to UHV through um, BK Dr. Subhash Saranki. And that is how I got an opportunity to attend the UHV one in uh, September, 2022. It was as if like, you know, this is actually what I was looking forward to, to understand or to study or to explore. Because uh, um, when I look back my, my school time, those subjects was, was not very interesting for me, be it science or social studies. So uh, I never, that was not interesting, you know, but it was just like, you know, you have to study it. But when it came to uh, UHV, this is, this is exactly what I was looking forward to. So I'm enjoying this journey. And uh, like, my shift in the understanding, if I would say, uh, for human being and particularly the self, I have started this journey, uh, maybe uh, 12 years back, I'm associated uh, with uh, Brahma Kumari. So I was in that process of understanding. And here in UHV, uh, the, one, the um, initial slide in which uh, the, there was a differentiation between self and the body, that was uh, really interesting for me. And from that slide, like, you know, it was like uh, the, dif the difference is like activities of the self and activities of the body and the need of the self, self and the body. So it was very clear. So uh, what I could understand from it is because there, there is always a desire uh, and the desire is associated with the body. And um, from that slide, I could understand that actually the need of the self is continuous and the need of the body is temporary. But since I was not knowing it, I was actually trying to fulfill that need by physical facilities related to the body. So that difference, like the need of the self or the activity of the self is always continuous. And that is what I need to focus on. So that, that clarity uh, I could get from that. And uh, usually in the classes, Sharmila Didi used to say, are you able to see it? Or uh, like, you know, when even when I was asking the questions uh, for clarification, for un understanding, the CD, Didi used to see, say, uh, try to see it directly. So I did not understand what, what does it mean to see it directly? But then uh, slowly, then I started practicing the exercises. I could understand that, okay, I need to, I need to um, explore or with that idea, like I have to see what exactly it is happening. And um, so I, now I am able to slowly uh, do that part of seeing it and understanding part. So in UHV, I, I could get an get a um, an aim at what exactly I have to do because otherwise it was like uh, I was aimlessly going in 
different different directions so when i could identify my basic aspiration so i no, now know okay this is what i have to focus on and um, i could also observe the my uh, disturbance is caused by myself because earlier i used to think the other person was responsible for my feeling but uh, i could understand i am responsible like for example there are a few people with whom i am not comfortable i feel i don't feel good when i am with that those people so i uh, firstly i could identify my feeling that i am not feeling good with these exercises uh, i'm i'm saying the difference that i could feel in myself so firstly i identified okay i'm not feeling good then secondly why i'm not feeling good it, then i understood it is not because of them it is because of my own assumptions without right understanding so and also i was having a feeling of opposition towards them so then when i corrected my understanding and i could see my relationship with the other person i could also observe that my feeling has changed so it was very easy for me like okay what I, what i have to do is only to change from within my understanding from within so whenever i am trying to change my understanding i am able to um with the right understanding i can ensure right feeling so i could i could uh, uh, realize that part i would like to share uh, one of the uh, experience i have i had like uh, i have recently joined uh, started working i had taken a long break actually so uh, so when i have joined after a long break and uh, my manager uh, like i was not having good feeling with her because maybe uh, she is shouting or all those things uh, i don't want to label it because it is my my understanding i am not understanding it correctly so what so we had to travel to some place which which was i was actually uh, looking forward to be the, at that place and you know so that way um, when we were traveling together but since i was not having a feeling of relationship with her because of all my assumption that i have created inside i i was not feeling comfortable during the travel after reaching there i was sharing the room with her so i even though that place was uh, my favorite place where i wanted to be but i was not feeling good at that time so i really had to uh, you know take out time and work on myself my thought process so, uh, so i could understand again identify with the exercises i could and identify okay i am not having a right feeling because i am not having a feeling of relationship i am having a feeling of opposition then why i am having a feeling of opposition because of my own assumption what i have assumed about her and uh, so i started correcting it from inside like okay i uh, she is similar to me uh, you know based on all those exercises i was um, trying to correct myself from within and after um, after a day i was i was comfortable i mean i was i, I didn't have that feeling i was feeling good from inside so that way i could ensure my feeling with the right understanding and uh, in one instance like that was in office like she was calling me and uh, that time when i was getting up from my seat and going to her that little period of time maybe few seconds i could i could feel that fear within me i could sense that fear within me and uh, and within that second since uh, maybe because of that exercise i was doing so i could just have a pause there like i i identified my fear and then i i asked myself why am i having this fear and uh, and that few seconds i could change my feeling there so it was very surprising for me okay so i can do it within some time also within few seconds also i can change my feeling i i could ensure my feeling at that time so uh, 
that is something that i have observed and coming to uh, nature i could not explore more but i was afraid of uh, dogs street dogs or uh, so uh, but with the feeling of um, relationship like uh, and i am i'm related uh, somehow i um, changed my assumption from inside so uh, now i don't feel uh, afraid of dogs like i can walk calmly uh, in even if i see the dog so i what i took for myself is that like i told myself okay if there is love there is no fear then i understood okay if there is a feeling of relationship then there is no fear so that is my understanding from that and uh, one uh, more thing i would like to add here is uh, uh, we used to give the example of like when we are going out and all of a sudden it rains and we feel disturbed from inside so i uh, i had observed that like whenever i was um, because i have a busy schedule in the morning and um, after the uh, uhk class then i have to cook for my children and uh, uh then i go for my classes my daily uh, i am associated with brahma kumari so i go for my daily classes so that way that it was busy so when i was going out, whenever i go out i see um the um, delivered products at the doorstep so i used to feel oh again i'll be late like it will be some few few minutes only like i have to take it inside and keep it and then go so there was it disturbance i could observe there was a disturbance because i was getting late so uh, that uh, like when didi had uh, mentioned that so i have start firstly i observed that there is a disturbance inside me then secondly i started correcting it with the right thoughts and right understanding so i started thanking those people what i did was i started thanking those people who is uh, uh, you know coming to my uh, house so early and you know delivering the products and when i had the feeling of gratitude then i could see i could not i did not have a feeling of disturbance and uh, about uh, the existence uh, i am still exploring because i could not uh, i have not yet understood completely about the space and all i'm still um, trying to explore that and human contact when i would say i have seen uh, like it is not definite like uh, earlier i i used to notice only about others like why they are today they are behaving th this way and tomorrow they are not behaving the other. like you know i used to see that difference in the other person i did not check about myself it was always about um, others like you know complaining others i never thought about correcting myself but here now i have then observed okay my conduct is also varying and i could understand whenever i am able to uh, have the right understanding and right feeling then i am i am able to have definite conduct i hope i am um, i am trying to understand it correctly maybe didi could help me with it and uh, okay i here in, in my family uh, my um, i have my husband uh, he he is uh, um, working in uh, it uh, field and my two daughters uh, my elder one is uh, doing her um, masters in psychology from delhi university and my younger one is uh, in 10th standard so i asked them what uh, because since i have to share so i told them i, I keep telling them um, little bit about it even though my husband is not uh, not believing in the self he believes only in the body you know so whenever i try to share this he makes fun of me saying it's all about the body and the brain and everything is emerging from the brain so i think i still don't have the um you know competence to make him understand or so and uh okay so um with i also have would like to uh share that i so whenever he is used to used to say like this or he used to make fun of me i used to have a feeling of opposition towards him 
and I could observe that after this exercise. Okay, I'm having an, a feeling of opposition. And when I, uh, so uh, what I used to do is I will not talk, or I uh, I I try avoiding talking because later on I could understand that is because I was having a feeling of opposition. I don't want. I didn't want to talk. So slowly I'm working on it and uh, ensuring my feeling like ha the feeling of relationship i'm trying to talk to him or discuss to him about this like okay this is also a, 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 like take, keeping it as a proposal and uh, i think uh, it's almost uh, time is up so that's all uh, i would like to share yeah, thank you so much. I would like to express my gratitude towards uh, Sharmila Bibi, Sunil Bhaiya, and um, Kumar Bhaiya, Tada Prasanna Bhaiya. I used to listen to the English session, but whenever I had time, I used to listen to the Hindi session also. So it's so it's so interesting, I would say. And um, there are times, initially there were times when I used to say, okay, today I'm not going to attend it. I will. Uh, I have some other work or something. But at that time, no. By the time it is five thirty, I will automatically log in, even though I would have planned not to attend. So that is the kind of interest uh, that we are getting from this. Thank you so much uh, to Didi, Bhaiya, and the whole team uh, for uh, uh, for your uh, contributions in our development and about the. Um, commitment i would like to be a part of it but i'm still trying to figure out because my daughter is in 10th standard and uh, there are other commitments also uh, i'm i'm trying to figure it out how i can be a part of it i, I have already joined the group and i would uh, i'm looking forward to be a part of volunteering thank you so much namaste yeah thank you sherigaji for this nice sharing um, if you can throw some light upon this uh, uh, steps of exercises one and two, this would have been nice if you are uh, doing that regularly. Yeah. Um, so the first step about, is about uh, being aware of the desire, thought and expectation. So uh, mostly I can see I am because... Uh, Initially, like when uh, in the UHV one, when we were uh, uh, told that um, during this first step, like you know, uh, check if that feeling is naturally acceptable to you. So that step, when I am checking, no, if whenever I am having a negative uh, feeling, then when I check, okay, is it acceptable for me, or do I like, do I want to continue in this feeling? readily i'm so it's very instant no i don't want to feel so what do i do how do i shift so that way i can i'm able to change that uh, instantly so this exercise has helped me a lot of checking my feeling thoughts and expectation and also uh, like uh, there was this exercise uh, for uh, you know identifying the needs of the body and so that time it was discussed. So I have um, I have uh, about the clothes it was mentioned, like this many clothes is only required. So I have actually did, did that exercise. And uh, I whatever extra I was having, I have um, taken out and you know I have shared with someone else. So that way I'm able to relate and I'm able to do it. And uh, this exercise, uh, okay, sensation with the body. Uh, yeah i am able to identify i am different and the body is different so that difference i am able to identify and i am able to identify the sensation in the body like earlier it would be like there is a pain uh, my thoughts will be revolving around those pain what to do why and all those things but now since i, I can observe the difference and i, I i'm able to observe it I'm not the body, I'm not the pain or I'm not in it. So that difference I'm able to identify. Okay, this is there, but still I can be comfortable. I was able to do that, but I'm not sure. But that pain was not much. But I don't know if it is more pain, how I will be able to do it. I still have to explore that thing. Mm. Yeah. Now, um, let us uh, 
uh, welcome uh, Shamla Didi for the comments and remarks regarding uh, Sharika Didi sharing. Then we will go to the questions. Over to you, Shamla Didi. Ji, namaste, Sharika Ji. Namaste, Didi. Um, it was really nice to hear your sharing and a very good example of how when you are already on a exploration kind of journey and you are trying to progress in the path, how the two can be complementary to each other. So your association with the BKs and what you gain from there and associating with now with UHV and seeing the same things with more clarity, how the two can be very nicely complementary to one another. Uh, you were able to exemplify in your um, sharing. So that was something very nice to hear. So it, that it doesn't have to be either or. There is not only one way. Uh, but that whatever way you are already following, with that you can have more clarity with it and uh, progress in the journey. Um, so that I thought was a nice thing that came out of your sharing. And also uh, this exploration that you are able to do, I think that shift of being able to see the change in the feeling that also you were able to bring out very clearly. And I think that becomes our motivation to keep looking within and um, checking on the feeling every now and then. Um, you mentioned about definiteness of conduct. Eventually, we want to be definite in our conduct all the time, every moment. But we can also see that our feeling keeps shifting, changing. So whenever our feeling changes, it very naturally flows into our behavior. So that definiteness gets changed. It becomes indefinite every now and then, uh, as you have also mentioned in the various examples. So ultimately, we want that definiteness in conduct every moment. And for that, we have to keep watch, keep paying attention to our feeling every moment, uh, which is you know, the process with the exercises. So it was uh, very nice to hear about your um, little bit of shift that you were able to see even in your behavior with your spouse and with others, how things were bothering you more, the discomfort has become less and you are able to observe, pay attention, reflect and then respond rather than react. All of that you were able to express very nicely. Uh, so uh, congratulations on all of that. Um, a little more depth, uh, of course, it will come, I think, as you go forward in the exercises. And I hope that you are continuing with the eighth batch where we'll be focusing only on the exercise one and two for four months. So that there will be more, little more depth, little more clarity about our sanskar, what is driving our feeling, and going stepwise all the way in the exercise one and two. Uh, that is something that I think, uh, you know, uh, we can look forward to your participation in that. And the other thing uh, you mentioned that you are keen to volunteer, you're just trying to find the right um, kind of combination for you. So in which case, um, of course, you have the names of the volunteers. You can contact any of them. Um, there are many, many volunteering activities where you can do things on your own time. It doesn't have to be at the time of the workshop. So you can find the time, um, whatever is convenient to you, and maybe participate in some. It could be transcript work. It could be translation work, whatever you're comfortable with. So you can find the right match for you. But um, all in all, I really enjoyed hearing your sharing. All the very best to you. Thank you so much, Titi. I'm looking forward for the next batch.
Thank, Thank you. you.